every Minecraft update, something gets removed. And you probably haven't even noticed. So today, we're looking at the most interesting things deleted from Minecraft. Number one. During this snapshot, the end height was changed, which caused massive end islands to generate. These islands were so huge that even the obsidian pillars were buried underground. In the past, there was a way to create super mobs with exceptional speed, strength or jump height. This was achieved by splashing two animals with a potion right before breeding them. Once the baby was born, it would have a permanent effect boost based on the potion you used. But this is nothing compared to the stuff later in the video. The maximum level you can reach in vanilla Minecraft is 21,863. But some players found a way to exceed this limit. In beta 1.8, if you died on a server, you would double the XP you had. During this time, you could also gain XP by merely jumping. That has to be the simplest XP farm ever. I guarantee that none of you know that doors used to have durability. This was the case in early alpha versions, where breaking a door would make it lose one durability point. So you had to think twice before placing it down. Number 5. You're looking at a negative statistic. This bug was in the game for years, but Mojang didn't care. Because in order to get a negative number, you first had to get that statistic to 2.1 billion, which is humanly impossible for most of the stats. This is the item with the most interesting story. It first appeared in Education Edition. However, due to a bug, these sticks made their way into Bedrock Edition and started spawning in Woodland Mansions. Of course, Mojang now fixed this embarrassing mistake and deleted these sticks from the game. This is only one of many items Mojang removed from Minecraft, but more on that later. Before 1.9, there were 30 secret potions in Minecraft, such as the Gross Potion, the Milky Potion, and the Sparkling Potion, to name but a few. In Minecraft Dungeons, there are 9 more potions, all with unique textures and effects. But none of these potions even compare to the strong potion of the Turtle Master. At one point, this potion literally made you unkillable. Someone at Mojang is bad at Roman numerals and switched resistance 4 to resistance 6 during these few snapshots. So drinking this potion literally made you invincible for 20 seconds. The bell is one of the weirdest blocks in Minecraft and its history is even weirder. When the bell was introduced, it was made from wooden planks. On Bedrock Edition, the bell is even more strange, as there are three unused bell variants hidden in the code. But that suck. Why are they made from granite and diorite? I guess Mojang wanted to choose the ugliest blocks possible. Number 10. Some villager traits are a total scam. However, compared to villagers 10 years ago, today's villagers seem more generous than Mr. Beast himself. Take this old librarian, for instance. He wants 60 six emeralds for one book, which is more than you can possibly give him. I'm starting to understand why Grox loves enslaving villagers. I'm 100% certain you've never heard of the command computer block. It comes from Minecraft EDU and at one point you could get it in survival. That's because it had an ID of 16A, which coincidentally is the same ID as Prismarine. So if you downgraded the game from 1.13 to 1.8, all your Prismarine would turn into command computers. This glitch is incredibly cool, but not as cool as the automatic bedrock farm. We'll get to that soon. This is how a typical map looks like. However, during one specific update, maps used to look more like this, or this, or this. But that was suck. What update had these maps? Well, it was the 20W14 Infinite, and it added an endless amount of new dimensions into the game. And each dimension had its own unique map. I'm definitely putting this one on the wall. Ayo, hey, what the f Riding a horse is cool, but riding a zombie horse is much cooler. That's right, this unused mob could not only be obtained, but it could also be tamed. This required switching between two April Fool's versions. This one allows you to get a zombie horse, and this one allows you to tame it. This is how an iron axe looks today. This is how it used to look before that, and this is how it looked when Notch first designed it. Notch wanted it to be a steel axe. This axe actually wasn't supposed to be an iron axe. This material was supposed to be much stronger than iron and it could be used to make new tools, weapons and armor. Number 15. Before the nether update, there used to be an insanely broken glitch on Bedrock Edition. By setting up a simple redstone contraption, you could push gravity blocks into the end gateway portal, which would cause a totally random block to come out on the other side. You could literally convert sand into netherite blocks, barrier blocks, bedrock, command blocks, you name it. Not every Minecraft 
Minecraft edition has useless traders. In dungeons, you can come across the luxury merchant, which offers you valuable and rare items. Even cooler is the mystery merchant, who sells loot boxes with a mix of random items inside. There used to be a block, only obtainable through command blocks, which was more dangerous than TNT and crystals and charge creepers combined. That block was the super TNT from story mode. To give you a sense of how deadly this block was, it's the main ingredient for crafting the Formidi Bomb, the only weapon capable of killing the mythical Witherstorm. Yeah, a normal TNT can't do that. In 2021, Mojang deleted Minecraft Earth and with it 8 types of pigs. What's interesting is that this game had mud blocks before the official Minecraft. That's how the muddy pig came to be. We've talked about things that were removed from Minecraft, but there is a lot to be excited about, because Mojang confirmed that both ostriches and vultures are coming in the future. However, they didn't say when. Same thing with the meerkat. This little fella would spawn in the desert, which desperately needs an update. Number 20. If you think Minecraft has a lot of villagers, then you've never played Education Edition, as there are 25 unique villagers. But they're not the same as normal villagers. They are NPC villagers. They have no AI, meaning they're even dumber than the nitwit. There's a couple of boys, a few girls, some scientists, a robot, a couple of beekeepers, and the guy who works at Chernobyl. Minecraft has two types of llamas, the normal ones and the wandering trader ones. But there's actually a third variant of the llama, which Mojang added as a Christmas celebration. And that's the Jolly Llama, by far the coolest one of them all. In fact, this llama is so cool that Green and Mambo Jumbo took a picture with it. Man, I'm starting to get jealous. You might know that there used to be monoliths in the early days of Minecraft. However, almost nobody knows about the 1.17 monoliths. This Bedrock Edition glitch was absolutely wild as it elevated certain chunks by 64 blocks into the air, which resulted in some spectacular terrain. Imagine if Minecraft suddenly got 300 new items. Well, that's exactly the case in Minecraft Dungeons. There's over 150 different weapons, ranging from the Anchor to the Frost Slayer to the Nautical Crossbow. There's also 73 armor sets, and some of them are absolutely ridiculous. Like the Battle Rope, the Bee Nest Armor, the Frost Armor, and the Fox Armor. I wonder how you get that one. <laughs> Invisible spiders are scary, but they are nowhere near as spooky as bone spiders. This terrifying spider used to shoot bone shards at you, which dealt up to 3 hearts of damage. No wonder Mojang didn't want this beast in the main game. These spiders were hostile towards players, melon golems and furnace golems. Number 25. All of these sheep were removed in the middle of 2021 during the Minecraft Earth Purge. What's interesting is that they all had different levels of rarity. These three were uncommon. The Flecked sheep only had a 4.8% drop chance. The rocky sheep was the second rarest, with a mere 3.9%. But the rarest sheep of all was the rainbow sheep. What's even more rare than all these sheep is Mojang mentioning a mob and then actually adding it. As recently as 2020, Dinnerbone, one of the main developers, said that a Pikmin bodyguard is going to be added. A year before that, Mojang teased the sea monster, which never saw the light of day. Mojang also wanted to add red dragons, hamsters, Monsters, orcas, seals, ducks, the list goes on. Wouldn't it be cool if we had infinite storage in Minecraft? Especially since the inventory system is a bit outdated. But actually, the solution isn't in the future, it's in the past. In which you could nest shulker boxes inside one another using hoppers. This meant you could carry an infinite amount of items in a single shulker box. Yeah, this glitch was a bit broken. Almost as broken as an automatic bedrock farm. But Darusak, how do you farm bedrock if you can't break it? Great question. And the answer is that you have to trick the game into thinking you mined it, when in reality you mined a different block, such as endstone or netherrack. The cutest mob in all of Minecraft is the baby ghast. This tiny mob can be found in dungeons, and unlike normal ghasts, these baby guests are actually friendly, meaning you can keep one as a pet. Just don't be surprised when one day it grows up and turns into a normal guest. Number 30. The first ever mob vote revealed this mysterious creature. Well, that's Wildfire. And someone found the texture files of this mob hidden in Minecraft dungeons. The Wildfire belongs on a long list of mobs that Mojang refused to add into the main game. Mobs like the Penguin, the Hedgehog, look at this little guy, the Raven, the Enchanted, 
Center and the Redstone Golem. In total, there's over 100 interesting and original mobs, so let's hope that some of them will be added into Minecraft. If you have one second, then please subscribe, it means a lot.